Hey everybody, it's Judy Clock here at Stampin' with Crafty Clock, coming to you for another live demonstration. And if you're on my email list, or if you've been on the internet at all, you've probably heard that the retiring products list has come out. Uh, and we're always sad when we see some of our favorites going. So this tonight, I'm starting what I'm calling my uh, goodbye tour. <laughs> I'm going to be featuring some of the stamp sets that will be retiring, some of my personal favorites that will be retiring when we roll over to the new catalog at the beginning of May. And tonight we're going to start with uh, Celebrate Sunflowers. This has been around, I think this has been around for about two years now. It's a really fun set. And I love it because it's easy for beginner stampers to uh, use to make uh, pretty cards. So we're going to do, and I'm going to feature, so uh, Pacific Point is also one of the colors that will be retiring. So we're going to do a very simple stamping card, just tone on tone. We're going to use that gorgeous Pacific Point to create a very simple thank you card, perfect for a beginning stamper. You just need one ink pad and just some white cardstock and the matching paper for the ink and you're good to go. And then we're going to step it up a bit and we're going to go ahead and we're going to use another couple of more retiring colors. Soft suede is retiring. Uh, Sahara sand is retiring. Mango melody is retiring. And of course um, the in colors, uh, soft succulent and evening evergreen are also retiring. So the only thing that's not retiring and the, and the gems, even the champagne gems are also retiring is the uh, crosshatch embossing folder that I use that is part of one of our uh, online exclusives. It's currently sold out right now, but it will be coming back. It's a set of three. It's a crosshatch. It's a dots and it's a floral. Um, they're really pretty. So I recommend that, you know, when they're back in stock, if you like them, go ahead and grab them. All right. So let's go ahead and get started with our very first card. And for this, we're going to be using another retiring item. Say goodbye to the Stamparatus. I think this was probably... The biggest shock of all was that the Stamparatus will be retiring um, when, the, when we roll over to the new catalog. Don't know why. It's a great tool. I, I have two for my classes. I think I might grab one or two more just to have when I do classes because it is such a valuable tool. All right. So I'm going to, you can see, I've already know where to put my paper because I've, um, I've, I've made a sample. So I already know. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take our Pacific Point ink pad and I'm just going to ink these up. I love doing simple like tone on tone stamping. I think it's probably one of my favorite things to do. It's easy. It's elegant. <laughs> Excuse me. And it doesn't take a lot. And it's for someone who is new, maybe doesn't have a lot of supplies. You could be very successful just doing this. And you'll notice I'm placing it so that the sunflower isn't fully on the paper. Okay, and that's fine. Sometimes you want to stamp it off a little bit. Got my little hockey puck presser. All right, and that is our outside. We're going to put that on the outside of our card. I want to do one more for the inside. I'm going to bring in another, get these, another stamp. We're going to get that little sunflower stamp. That's on a different, on a different, uh, plate and i love these because we had the two plates so you could have you know up to four sides at one time i mean it's just such a, a great a great tool i can't believe that it's going away but it is so if you want your stamparatus go ahead and get it now and i have a feeling this might actually sell out quickly because it is such a handy tool um to have all right let me just put these plates over here for a minute because they're very dirty with all the ink on them. Okay, and then we're just gonna take this off and we are ready to assemble our card. It's going to be, like I said, it's a very simple card. It's going to go together very quickly. Close that up. All right, so now we're just gonna put this on the inside and we're gonna put that on the outside and we are going to call this card done. So like I said, I love simple stamping cards. They do go together very quickly. This one I think is just, I, again, I just love doing tone, just keeping it all within one tone or one color family. I just find this just a really pretty look. 
Um, let me know if you agree. If you like doing just like sort of, you know, like a color in white or, you know, black and white or whatever you like. I just, I just think it's a very clean, simple um, card, but you write your little note and it's really something that someone will treasure. So actually I have a couple of birthday cards, uh, not birthday cards. Oh my goodness. Thank you cards to send out um, for items that I received for my birthday. So I've got to make a bunch of these and get these out in the mail by tomorrow or Saturday, maybe Saturday. All right. Let's go with our second card. This one, we're going to step it up. We are going to, again, use our soft, I mean, oh gosh, our Celebrate Sunflowers. I just simply cannot speak today. And I had a bone folder over here somewhere. And I don't know where, there it is. It was hiding under the gems. There we go. I just want to kind of burnish this crease a little bit better. So I've got a piece of our, this is our um, soft suede, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. We're going to put on that a piece of our Sahara sand, again, five by five and a quarter by four. And this we embossed with that crosshatch embossing folder that is part of the online exclusives. And we're going to put a piece of basic white on the inside. I'm going to leave this blank. I chose not to do anything on the inside because we've got a lot going on on the outside. And then we're going to stamp a sunflower. I did leave, sorry, I left my other piece over there. And we're going to stamp the big sunflower on our mango melody. And we're going to stamp that in our soft suede. So let me bring in my other. I told you I have two of these. It comes in handy. Okay, so I'm going to just put this there. Now I do need to clean off my sunflower stamp because I used it with the Pacific Point and I haven't cleaned it yet. So let me just take off. I'm just going to take out my Simply Chamois and I am just going to wipe this one down. Now I'm going to get all blue all over my fingers. I guarantee my fingers will be blue by the time I'm done because that's just what happens. But let me get that all cleaned up. Just clean off that thanks a bunch while I'm there. Okay. Then we're just going to, and it really doesn't matter where you place it. I'm just going to kind of place it down there. Again, pick this up, lift it up, and I'm going to pull this out, and we're going to add our soft suede ink to our sunflower. There we go, that's better. And when your stamps are larger than your ink pad, it's easier to just kind of um, turn the ink pad upside down and do it. And it's just a tap, tap, tap. You don't really have to press down really hard because that's sometimes where you get ink on the edges of the stamp and on the stamparatus and stuff. So just a light tap, tap, tap. Coming in here with my little hockey puck. It's not really a hockey puck. It's, you know, the slider for the air hockey table. And there we have our sunflower. Now we're going to die cut that in a minute. Let's move that out of the way. We have just a couple of more things to stamp. So, oh, I, let me keep out the soft suede for just half a minute. We're going to stamp a sentiment on the basic white. And I am going to fussy cut this. Now don't be shocked. I know, you know how much I hate to fussy cut but I'm going to. Okay, there we go. I don't know why I put that away. I knew I was going to use it again, but I did. Okay, this is just a little sentiment that says, know, you, know that you are loved. Okay, there we go. That, and then we're going to stamp our single leaf stamp on some soft succulent. And we're going to, again, stamp it in the soft succulent. Okay, I'm a big fan of tone on tone. I just love it. Okay. So now that we've got all of that done, let's close this up. Just get my inks closed because I told you I was going to end up with blue fingers. I knew that chamois was going to get me. Knew it. All right. So now what we want to do is we want to take the um the die cut well i've already cut it but you can see i'm going to take the die cut for the sunflower 
and for the leaf. I didn't do the sunflower over here because I wanted to use the mini and this one has to go on the bigger one. But you can see, if you look at the sunflower, you see like this series of, I guess like three petals that are sort of leaning towards the right. And then if you look, you'll kind of see the same pattern on the die cut. So you just marry those up. It, it takes a little bit, a little bit of just turning and, and getting it sure it's right. But once you have it all matched up, just run it through your stamp cut and emboss and you will get this lovely um, die cut sunflower. Okay. Now we're going to do the same with our little leaf. We stamped our leaf. So we've got the leaf image here. So we're going to run that through on our stamp cut and emboss. This is the mini. Um, and you can buy it in the new Boho Blue while supplies last. Um, Boho Blue is one of the new colors. It was, uh, oh my gosh, Boho Blue something wheat. I don't even have them all memorized yet. I have to. Um, a pebble something. They're really pretty. I'll be posting about those in the next day or two. And we've got uh, four new colors coming. We've got Lemon Lolly. We've got Bubble Bath. We've got um, Azure something. It's a blue. And then I can't remember the other one. Then returning is Pretty Peacock, Lost Lagoon, Berry Burst, Lemon Lime Twist, Fresh Freezer will be sticking around. So that was exciting to know that Fresh Freezer was sticking around. Um some of the other ones oh my gosh there's so much there was just so much to share <laughs> okay so now you see we've got our little leaf cut all right so now we're going to take our leaf and i also there's a die there's a leaf overlay there's another die in there it looks like a leaf overlay and we're going to take this off now you could go ahead and pull these out because these are already cut but i put the adhesive backing on them because when you're using these really fine detailed dies, it's so much easier to use the adhesive sheets. So as I pull these off, those are just going to come out and you'll see it even more on the, on the sunflower outline. Okay, so we're just going to lay this down right over our leaf matching the edges. All right, now we've got, so it looks like we've got that lovely soft succulent peeking through and now we've got our pretty leaf. Okay, now we have our sunflower. And earlier I cut out, out of the soft suede, I cut out the sunflower outline. So this pops out. So now we're going to go pop out our sunflower overlay. And again, you see we've got all of these um, great pieces in there. So I'm just going to try to find where I have the split in my... Um, See, these the bigger pieces, those are going to be easy to pop out. But there's going to be some smaller pieces. There we go. So we're going to just pull this apart. And all those pieces, as you pull out that adhesive backing, those pieces are just going to come. Now, if there are some pieces that stay, like this one, you can just pull it out with the hand, or even the smaller ones, some of these smaller ones there. I'm just going to take my pick tool, take your pick, and I'm just going to kind of punch those out. Okay. Just make sure we get those all out. And there's that little one there. And I think hmm, that one doesn't want to come out. There we go. We've got it. So again, just like I showed you on the die when you were die cutting, there are got those little pieces. The only problem is these little pieces then go everywhere. <laughs> Let's push those out of the way. Keep our leaf. Let's keep our leaf. So here's like those those three those three petals. I was kind of talking about where they kind of bend to the right and we're going to find those on here too. There they are. So we kind of know those go there, maybe a little bit more. There we go. So that is how you measure, I'm sorry, you match that up and then we just push it down because we already know that we've got our adhesive backing on there. So we're good to go. Now we're, we're, we're good. So now we've got those lovely outlines for all of our leaves. Okay, and now let's go ahead. Let's fussy cut our sentiment. Now, before I do that, I'm just going to trim it a little bit more because I don't like to have a lot to have to maneuver around. So I'm just going to start here. And 
The whole thing to fussy cutting is you turn the paper. It's not really my favorite way to do things, but sometimes it's just the look you want. So I'm going with the fussy cutting, which is most of you who know me know that it is, I will do almost anything other than fussy cut. So it's a big deal when I do the fussy cutting. Okay. And here we come around the D and go up around there. Okay. All right. And we're just going to go around the no. That's just kind of a straight cut. And then we're just going to kind of turn it around here. And there we go. And just finish it up around the T. And there we go. And now we're done. Okay, so now we are done with our cutting, our stamping. Let's go ahead and assemble our card. So I'm going to get all these little pieces. I'll be sweeping up my workroom floor after. I am going to... Um, go ahead and just add this piece of basic white to the inside. Okay, now if you uh, were on my mailing list last night, you got a, instead of my normal Friday newsletter, I sent it out yesterday, but you got all of the um, updates, you know, the, the list of retiring products and the intro about what colors are retiring and the Stamparatus is retiring. You got two uh, tutorials. One tutorial was for my Tuesday lesson at lunch. I don't know if you got it, but we made these little egg boxes. I think they're just so cute for the upcoming Easter holiday. So people on my email list got the full written tutorial with measurements in both metric and imperial um, with a like a diagram and, you know, to watch the video with it. So uh, if you're not on my mailing list, you might want to hop on because I always have at least one tutorial, sometimes more than one. Um, I also have a frequent buyers program where if you shop with me, I reward you um, and you can earn, you know, like a, a $50 shopping spree. Um, so, all right. So we're going to add this, just put that right there. Now we're going to pop this up on dimensionals. Okay. I have them somewhere. I thought I had everything within arm's reach. Okay, I'm going to put one in the center and then I'm just going to put some, around the edges. I think, I think I put about five because it's it's a fairly large flower. So we don't want it to kind of droop. So I'm just gonna put, I think five around here. So we were having a discussion the other day when my team was here, like, where's the weirdest place you ever found the covers to your dimensionals? I found them on my dog's nose. One lady found it in the back of her car. I think I found them in my bed one day. I'm like, I don't know how they, migrate to other places in the house but they do somehow they seem to migrate from the basement to all parts of the house so it's very funny all right i'm going to add our little sentiment i'm going to put that up there and then we're just going to finish this off with some of our um champagne gems okay so these are just some of the products that are leaving us. I just think they're they're so pretty and I'm a little sad to see some of them go, but we have so many beautiful new things coming that I think you'll be really happy when you see the new catalog. If you don't have a current Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you would like to get a copy of the catalog, just leave a comment, let me know and I'll reach out and we can um, arrange to get you a copy of the catalog when I get them. So those are our two cards and again, these are, with the exception of our embossing folder, everything here is is retiring. Pacific Point is retiring. Celebrate Sunflowers, the stamp set and the dies are retiring. Um, soft Suede, Sahara Sand, Mango Melody, Evening Evergreen, and Soft Succulent are all retiring, as are the, the I'm sorry, the Champagne Rhinestones and the Stamparatus. The Stamparatus is also retiring. Like I said, I think that was the one that really surprised me the most when I heard that the Stamparatus was retiring. Um, you know, so if that's something that you had been thinking about um, getting, but we're putting it off, you know, I would say don't, don't wait because it is a really great tool. As you saw tonight, it's very easy to work with. So if you think you want one, I would say go ahead and um, 
you know, to get it for yourself before it's gone. So uh, if you have any questions, just leave me a comment and I'll be happy to, to reach out and start a conversation. That's it for tonight. I hope you enjoyed this farewell to celebrate sunflowers. I'll be back next week with another on the farewell tour. Okay, everybody have a good night. Have a great weekend. Bye.